Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to a new PPT tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create a pop-up window in Microsoft PowerPoint. Take a look at this slide. We have a guy here and some text. Hello guys, welcome to the art museum. I'm your tour guide, Sam. Let me show you around. And I know that the word tour guide is a new word for my students. So I hid it below this box, this yellow box with a translation. It's in Chinese. Uh, so first, I'm going to try to elicit this word from my students. And if I see that they struggle, then I will going to click uh, on my clicker or press the space bar and reveal the word just like that. And it shows, uh, it displays a pop-up window with some useful information. So here we have uh, the new word, part of speech, translation, meaning of the words, and also I use it in a sentence. So we have an example here. So let me teach you how I created this slide. So um, we're going to delete it and new slide and then uh, right click uh, layout and choose blank. This way it's easy to work with. Then we need to insert a picture. So click insert pictures, this device and uh, choose the picture you've already prepared. So um, this is the picture that I have, but look at that. It doesn't look very nice on the sides, yeah? So what do we do? What do we do with that? Uh, we can stretch it and let me show you a cool trick. Uh, a cool uh, trick. So click on crop, then fill, and then drag this picture to the edges. Then again, click crop and fill. Boom. And it looks much nicer now. So you can play with it um, until you are satisfied, until you're happy. And then you click crop. Boom. And you have a very nice picture that fills the, um, the slide. Now let's insert a pop. Uh, let's insert a dialog box. So click insert uh, shapes and callouts. Let's choose this one. This is a here's a speech bubble that we are going to insert. I'm going to choose this color. I think it looks nice. Then a shape of outline black. I think it looks even better. And here we need to type uh, in our text. And uh, let's highlight it, change the font. I like Comic Sans and make it a little bit larger, like so, well, maybe 26. Okay, now it looks nice. Let's highlight tour guide, our new word, and change it to red. So students see that it's the new word that we are using. Okay, and now we need to insert a box which covers our new word. So click insert, uh, shapes, and uh, rectangle, simple rectangle. And let's cover it like so. Then uh, in the shape format section, let's choose uh, a different color, shape outline, so it looks nice. And now we can write translation of this word in the language, well, in your first language. I'm teaching in China, so I'm going to translate it into Chinese. Tour guide in Chinese is Daoyo. There we go, Daoyo, the first one. And um, let's change the color. Uh, this would be black. There we go. 
uh, and maybe increase the font a little bit. Here we go. So I am your Daoyo Sam. Here again, I want to make a quick note. You can write it in your own language. It can be well, whatever language, whatever whatever the first language uh, you're speaking. Yeah. So um, really up to you. Okay. And now let's create our pop-up window. So to do that, mm, we need to uh, again go to Insert, then Shapes and we can choose a rectangle here all right here we go and i think we can go with uh we can change it to uh white okay now we need text so if we click on it look it's in uh my my, my cursor is in the middle so we need to change that we need to align our text so click home go to align text and click top and also here you can align it align your content to the left and now all we need to do is to type up our text so uh, we're going to write tour guide um, it's a noun and here guys you can include anything you want you know uh, in my case I have the word translation part of speech meaning or definition and an example but you can also include synonyms or antonyms whatever you want to include all right so let me write it in chinese dao yo there we go now i am going to make it more beautiful Again, I'm going to change the font. I like Comic Sans better. And let's play with it a little bit to make it more attractive. So uh, tour guide, this is our new word. So let's change, uh, let's make it red. Okay, meaning this word, let's make it green example let's make it blue and also i think i'm going to i'm going to italicize it because it will look much much better and also i'm going to italicize it uh this word now i think it looks cool all right all right and also to make it more beautiful, let's insert uh, this picture. Insert picture, this device, and there we go. Let's just make it smaller. Yep. Okay. Um, yes, uh, doesn't look very nice yet, but look, we can increase uh, the font here. Um, yeah, so this way it will, it's gonna look better. And also we can increase the font here. So the students see uh, what the new word is. Again, you can play with it until you're satisfied, until it looks good in your opinion. Okay, well, I think, um, I think it looks pretty good, pretty decent, all right. So now what we want to do with this pop-up window or pop-up box, we want to group it so we can move it around. Here's how we do it. We are going to yeah, select it all and then right click and you see here group and then we group it. So now we can move it around. Look, you see it becomes one. And uh, now all we need to do is to animate the whole thing. Oh yeah, and one more thing, uh, let's also uh, highlight tour guide here and change the color so it looks uh, better. I mean, it's a new word and our students need to see what the new word is. Okay, so now we need to animate the whole thing. So let's go to animations. Uh, I'm going to click on the animation pane so you can see what's happening here. 
and then click on this box uh, with the translation add animation and we're gonna choose wipe uh, let's choose the direction from left this looks better and then uh, let's uh, click on this pop-up window there we go add animation and let's click on uh, this one wipe choose the direction from let's say from top and here we see take a look here this is our group uh, group 10 which which is this pop-up window so we need to animate it right after the first animation so we are going to click uh, after previous and this is it this is it let's take a look what we have here uh, let's go into the presentation mode so here we go hello guys welcome to the art museum i am your do you know this word tour guide sam let me show you around and here we have our pop-up window this is it this is how you do it i hope you enjoyed this video happy teaching and i'll see you next time